Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The cancellation of contract between French Naval Group and Australia seems to be opportunity for India to get latest French Barracuda class submarines. In today's discussion, we will look into each and every details of this submarine in detail and try to understand if it will suit our Navy's requirement. So let's get started. We know it very well that Indian Navy has no nuclear submarine in position after the return of INS Chakra 2. Although Navy is in talk with Russia for leasing two Akula class submarines namely INS Chakra 3 and Chakra 4 by 2025. Talking about Project 75 Alpha, the Indian Navy aims to procure new nuclear powered submarine SSN under Project 75 Alpha. The government of India approved the construction of six of such submarines in February 2015. These submarines will be designed by Navy's in-house Directorate of Naval Design and built in India at Ship Building Center at Vishakha, Patnam. The construction is expected to start on 2023-24 while the first submarine is expected to enter the service in 2032. But considering the recent development and history of submarine development, it may take 2035 to induct these submarines into Indian Navy. For example, it took 13 years to build and induct Barracuda class submarine into French Navy. So in order to fast track the construction of SSNs, Navy should go for proven technology where design work has already completed and based on similar design, SSNs should be built. This will save huge amount of time and French Barracuda class submarine completely fits this requirement and this is the main reason many think tankers are backing the French Barracuda class submarines. However, there is a general misconception and many suggest that why not Indian Navy go for French submarine which recently got cancelled by Australia. Indian Navy can ask France for those submarines. However, those submarines are non-nuclear submarines and are Barracuda class submarines fitted with diesel electric propulsion system. So it will be completely impractical to opt out for diesel electric submarine in place of assassins. Now discussing about Barracuda class submarine or Supreme class, the new Supreme class will bring France assassin closer to the British and American submarines in overall capability. However, the Supreme remains the most compact submarine packing the latest technology into relatively small hull. This makes in very interesting. Six Supreme class submarine will form the backbone of French Navy. This will replace the first generation Rubis class later called Amethyst after upgrade. The Supreme class was developed as Barracuda program and has taken the Supreme class name from the lead boat which was commissioned in November 2020. Supreme is significantly larger than its predecessor Amethyst class. They are more than double the displacement at 5300 tons versus 2700 tons. The size of this submarine is not at all surprising as Amethyst class was world's smallest nuclear power attack submarine. While French Navy has used the Amethyst board on extended deployment, it is natural that the larger Supreme class will be better suited. The submarine has a state-of-art pump jet propulsion system and axe rudders in place of regular screw and cruciform control surface. The Barracuda class nuclear reactor incorporates several improvements over the preceding Rubies class. Notably, it extends the time between refueling and complex overhaul from 7 to 10 years, enabling higher at sea ability. It uses nuclear electric propulsion system where the screw is turned by an electric motor and not by a steam turbine which reduces gearing like most other submarines. This is silent and allows integration of battery to make it more silent. It uses Technic Atomic K15150 MW reactor, two 10 MW turbo generator groups, large batteries that allow submarines to run at minimum reactor power for several days in near perfect noiseless and two same pile stick 480 kW each emergency generator. Barracuda class reportedly produce approximately 1 by 1000 of decibel noise than that of its predecessor and they are 10 times more sensitive in detecting 
than other nuclear submarines so they are more powerful advanced and stealthier than any other submarines in this category now talking about countermeasures it has nemesis countermeasures system based on contralto from naval group which applies a confusion or delusion principle and combines evasive maneuvers with the deployment of canto as decoys talking about its main sensors it uses hull and flank sonar towed array sonar mine and obstacle avoidance sensor active sonar warning system navigation sonar attack photonic mast and surveillance photonic mast the submarine will be able to perform multiple operations such as anti surface anti submarine warfare land attack intelligence gathering crisis management and special operation in support of special operation mission barracuda may also accumulate up to 15 commandos while carrying their equipments in a mobile pod attached aft of the sail now talking about its armament it has four 533 mm torpedo tube with 20 storage rack capacity including mdcn scalp naval version missile exosat sn39 mod2 anti ship missile A3 SM Mika missile, F21 Artemis heavy torpedoes and FG29 mines. In future, torpedo-sized UUVs that is uncrewed underwater vehicles may also be carried. Naval groups new D19 type might be ideally suited. Small UUVs can carry out a wide range of missions including intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, electronic warfare, anti-submarine warfare. mine counter measures and mine warfare this was today's update please let us know what is your view about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions on any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends Please like and subscribe our channel if you have not done already. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.